On July 18, 2014, Industrial Fire World magazine participated in a live fire demonstration of firefighting nozzles manufactured by Pyrolance of Aurora, Colorado. The demonstration was conducted at the Fire Training Research Center operated at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Pyrolance is a piercing attack nozzle that uses ultra-high pressure water to pierce walls, roofs, and ceilings. Once the barrier is penetrated, micro droplets of water delivered at pressure exceeding 1000 psi cools the superheated gases rising from the fire. The demonstration utilized a fire training prop consisting of two metal shipping containers arranged in the shape of a giant L. The prop is designed to 1. Make it difficult to determine the conditions inside and 2. Make it difficult to determine the seat of the fire. Pyrolance's unique design and use of grit induction allows penetration of quarter inch steel in 12 seconds. Aside from shipping containers, Pyrolance can be adapted to emergencies involving a variety of industrial facilities, ranging from in vessel process types such as furnaces, boilers, and reactors to storage tanks such as internal floaters. An entry level Pyrolance unit consists of a pump, driver, reels, and tanks that fit into a package measuring 36 inches wide. 60 inches long and 52 inches high. Aside from the truck mounted unit used in the DFW demonstration, Pyrolance can be adapted to brush trucks, pumpers, rescue vehicles, and other apparatus. Pyrolance's micro droplet technology has the added advantage of minimizing water damage and overhaul time. Current Pyrolance users include the U.S. Air Force, Navy, the Mojave Air and Space Port, Dallas Fort Worth Airport, the Panama Canal, and Rolls-Royce engine factories, amongst others. Cass Seyfried, Vice President of the Operations for Pyrolance, attempted an indirect attack. With the fire shielded by the shape of the prop, Seyfried used Pyrolance to penetrate the door at the opposite end from the fire. Pyrolance requires only about 10% of the water of traditional fire lines. The reduced droplet size increases the surface area of any given volume of water by 16 to 20 times. With a water to steam conversion rate of 1 to 5,000, the micro droplets rapidly reduce the temperature and the risk of flashover or backdraft. Ventilation is not attempted until conditions inside are safe. Later, Seyfried attempted a direct attack on the fire across the length of a single shipping container using thermal imaging equipment to target the flames. The micro droplets injected under pressure immediately began pushing large volumes of smoke out the opposite end of the container. From the shipping container prop, the demonstration moved to a liquid fuel open pit fire nearby. The weapon of choice against this hazard was the Pyroblitz attack line, a non-piercing high pressure combination nozzle adaptable to structural and wild land fires. Hand lines using ultra high pressure are nothing new. Adapting micro droplet technology to hand lines means that the Pyroblitz, like the Pyrolance, flows water at more than 10 times the pressure of traditional lines. The system also allows induction of foam concentrate into its ultra high pressure stream. Using foam and the pyroblitz together, Seyfried was able to extinguish the pit fire in as little as 45 seconds.
Returning to the shipping container prop, Safer attempted a trick shot experiment. Using a thermal imager to locate the fire, he used the pyro lamps to not only penetrate the shipping container, but a metal drum inside containing the fire. Using the information gained from the experiment, Sefford said he hopes to scale up to a bigger boom-mounted pyrolance that can be applied to industrial fires.